Finally experiencing some beautiful warm weather in this month is National Bike Safety Month. So as uh, we're preparing to get outside, we've uh, been sharing some events around West Michigan where you can get out and ride your bike. Yeah, we want to make sure that our kids are safe when they're on their bikes and adults too, of course. We've got two very special guests in studio right now to talk about event to make sure that your kids are out there riding safely. We have Tom Sinus. Uh, he is a partner at Sinus Dramus Law Firm and Bree Taylor from Mary Freebed. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much both for being here today. Thanks for having us. And you brought a prop. You brought Perfect. one of these helmets <laughs> that, you know, really everybody needs to have several of these in their garage, right? <laughs> Absolutely. They should have one in their garage for everyone who rides a bike. Sure. Yeah. And we brought one of these because we've been giving these helmets away in Grand Rapids since 2014. Mm -hmm. uh, last year's event was a great success. Again, we gave away over 600 helmets. Our firm has been giving these away in one form or another since 2003. And I think we've given away almost 13,000 helmets. So you really oh can't have too many of them because you just never know how many people you're going to have riding your bikes. And everyone who gets on a bike needs to have one of these on their mm -hmm. head. And even at home, I remember we used to have friends over and they'd bring their bikes and then it's like, we maybe need some extra around to have in case someone is at your house. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important though to size it right and make sure it's fitting on your head right. So tell us a little bit about how parents can make sure that this helmet is the right size for their kids. Yeah, absolutely. A helmet should fit um, down over the forehead. Okay. About two fingers over the brow line or the brow line is a good spot. You want to make sure you can, excuse me, have at least two fingers underneath the chin for the strap. Mm. The strap is secured, and if you were to move your head back and forth, that the helmet would stay in place. And is there a way that folks can come out and get a helmet and get what you just said, Bree, really to make sure that it fits? There is, right? Lids there for is. Kids. There is. Lids for Kids <laughs> is coming around again. This time mm -hmm. it's going to be on Saturday, June 3rd, awesome. from 10 to noon at Garfield Park. Oh, and great. the goal is to do both of those things that you mentioned, to not only give away helmets to kids, but to make sure that the helmets are fitted. So we'll be giving the helmets, but we'll also have a group of wonderful volunteers who are making sure that the helmets are fitted, just like Bree said, mm -hmm. so that when they leave, the helmet is safely secured, and so that the kids and their parents or whoever is there knows how to test the helmet to make sure that it's properly secured yeah, for the rest kind of the of season. Peace sure. of mind, right, for parents exactly. as their kids are riding around the neighborhood and everything. Uh, well, we appreciate you guys coming in. We hope mm. a lot more people come out. 13,000 helmets in the last uh, about 10 years or so. It's amazing. It's so we appreciate that. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, it's, it's a wonderful thing, of course, to be able to give these away as a dose of prevention of yeah. brain injury. But it's also a really fun day. I think every year we've done it. We've all had a great time. We've had a great turnout. We have a wonderful group of community partners. Thanks to you guys, especially. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of uh, freebies to give away. So hopefully people come. They have fun, they get fitted, they get a helmet, and they're off to the races for the rest of the summer. And preventing those injuries is something you all at Mary Freebed appreciate. Indeed. So thank Indeed. you both for being here. Thank you. Yeah.